Lance Stevenson with Hip Hop since 1987.com. Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop Alright, it's your boy E Money. I'm chilling with Lance Stevenson, one of the biggest uh, products to come out of New York and uh, one of the most vital pieces to the Indiana Pacers. Now, we're here in Philly um, for the summer, the N1 Summer Remix Tour. How'd you get involved with the uh, N1 Tour? Uh, I actually signed with N1 and uh, I decided to come out, show love, and uh, actually get a team and uh, try to. Uh, trying to win that hundred dollars, so okay. it's gonna be great. And uh, I got a good team, so we, I think we got a good chance to win. Okay, now you got a, a real good dude. We got to sit down with Carlos Knox, coaching the squad. How'd you and him look up? Uh, he's with the Indiana program, and I play in his program a lot. And he helped me get this team right here, so I decided to add him with the squad and make him the head coach. So okay, now you had a lot of success this year, um, being one of the best six men couple with the Indiana Pacers. How do you plan to improve for this up and coming season? Because you guys have high expectations. Uh, just work hard. We got a great team. We got a couple of new guys that's, that's going to fill, fill in and make us even better. So I just got to play my part, uh, be the best role player I could be, uh, help my team win. Okay. Now, um, let's get back more to your team born ready. How was the team put together? Was it you or Carlos Knox? Uh, Carlos Knox actually know these guys. They actually won, they actually won the Nike. Uh, Event, they had the Nike event out here, the same thing as and one. So I decided to come with them, and they're very aggressive and they, they play uh, hard, tough basketball. So I decided to go with them. Okay, okay. Now, um, we're going to go back to the NBA. Uh, you see a lot of players who games kind of stay the same. You made major improvement right in front of the world, guys. What is it about your workout, real workout plan? Maybe you could share with some some of the up and coming basketball players that got you so prepared to go against a player like LeBron and play next to a ball. Uh, what I did was my rookie and my uh, my second year. I decided to look at other players and see what they do and what make them stay on the floor. And I just added to what I do and working hard and just preparing. Uh, it's not about just going down and play. You gotta know the game. You gotta know the basketball game. You gotta know when to shoot. You gotta know when to pick and choose. When to do something. When to be out on the, on the defensive end. So I had to learn that. And once I learned that, the game came easy to me. Okay. Now, you being a player who only played one year at college, let me let me ask you, what are the differences in the levels? You played at the highest level in high school in college at Cincinnati. You had a great career there as well, but now you're at the NBA. For those who don't understand those differences, what are the differences at the different levels? Man, college and the NBA is more mental and you gotta know the game. Bro. Mm -hmm. College is easy, it's like playing in, in high school, just go at each other. It's, it's a little system to it. But NBA, you gotta know everything. You gotta know the plays. You gotta know the defensive end. You gotta know who you guard in every game. Is, every game is somebody good. So okay. I had to learn that. And uh, the adjustments from, from college and NBA is totally different. Okay, who's the toughest person you had to guard in the NBA thus far? Probably LeBron. LeBron is probably tough. He, he's, he's a man right now. He's a man child. So yeah, LeBron. Okay, and who were your favorite players growing up? Kobe Bryant, uh, Tracy McGrady, of course MJ, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. Man, I just watch everybody. I watch everybody and I took the little things out of their game and tried to put it in my game and just did it, do it in my own kind of style. Okay, now you coming from New York, a heavy street ball city. I feel like I said to one of the players earlier, in one kind of losses of lore when it seemed like there wasn't too much defense going on. Like, what do you feel like is different about N1 now or 
in this new era, what do you think it'll take for him to get that, you know, that started back? Uh, just we need great players. Around, uh, we got a lot of players that we signed right now, and uh, we we looking good. Uh, we just gotta bring that attitude, that that street ball aggressive type of attitude. I think uh, the, the players that we picking up now, including myself. We got that type of game in our, in our system, so I think A1 is coming back. Uh, we got a couple of new, new sneakers coming out that's, that's kind of decent. Uh, they'll be in store soon, so A1 is on the map. I think we going to do a bit. Okay. Now, as of recently, um, a certain young lady kind of let it be known that uh, you guys kind of chill. Okay, Michelle. Maybe you shed light on that situation just a little bit. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll be cool. Uh, Getting to know each other, taking it slow, and uh, she's a cool lady. Uh, she's not like how, how everybody see her on TV. She actually cool to be around, and uh, I mean, she, she, she very pretty, so you know. <laughs> okay. Can I ask uh, last thing? What's the biggest misconception people might have about her that you can put the rest? Uh, about her, probably her attitude, how she starts trouble, but I don't see that when I'm trouble with her. So, yeah. so, so it's kind of different. I don't look at her like that. Okay. Now, do you think you like to leave the people with before we get out of here? Yeah. I'm just working out, getting ready for the uh, big season coming ahead. Uh, we got a couple of new players. You know, we have the A1 event doing it big right now. Okay. You know what? Before we get out of here, what are your expectations for the Indiana Pacers? Because pretty much y'all the front runners to beat the Miami Heat. Y'all loaded. Y'all got Danny Granger coming back. One of the only seven footers with some game. What's your expectations for the Pacers? Man, I think we looking good, man. We got a couple of cats. We got we even got a better bench this year. So we coming back with heavy hitters, and uh, I think we got a good chance. Be in the heat this year, so, okay, okay, so okay. I'm ready. I'm getting prepared for that right now. All right, you heard it here first with Hip Hop since 1987.com. We chilling with the man Lance Stevenson, and we signing out. Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com.